really important. These claims from the Republicans came down from the top. One thing I hear a lot when I point this out is some people say, well, listen, the polls say in 2016 that, you know, a majority of Democrats thought that, that Donald Trump was not a legitimate president. Perhaps that's the case. But it wasn't Barack Obama spreading that information or spreading that claim. It wasn't then Vice President Joe Biden. It wasn't even Hillary Clinton. They weren't going around saying the election was stolen, the election was stolen, the election was stolen, the election was stolen. Hillary Clinton really won. Donald Trump really lost. That's not what happened. If you want to say that the general sentiment among Democrats organically because they didn't like Trump or because they don't like that we have indirect elections for chief executives made people think that, you know, uh, and also the fact that, again, Russia actively and publicly interfered in the 2016 on Trump's behalf. If you want to say that those things contributed to a sentiment among partisan Democrats that Trump was illegitimately elected, fine. But those claims, again, are much more substantive and they weren't being fed by Democratic leaders in a cultish way to their base. It was irresponsible for Donald Trump and his supporters, people who knew better, people in the Trump administration, people in the Trump campaign, people in Republican leadership, to proliferate these lies actively. There is no equivalent of that on the Democratic side. 